You can't be good at your job when your life is in crisis. I once had a good salesperson start underperforming, so I asked him to come into my office and talk about it. While we were talking, I looked out the window and saw a tow truck pull into our parking lot and tow away his car because he was delinquent on his car payments. He was having marital problems, which were affecting his work performance, which was affecting his income. One of the hardest things to do is focus on your job when you've got other problems or issues going on in your life. It can be money issues, relationship issues, even company issues. When we're working on something important, we need to focus and drown out the noise in our head. I know it's easier said than done. John Kabat-Zinn said, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. So how do we keep our focus lasered on the necessary target while not letting our troubles get in the way? Well, here's four things that have helped me and I hope they help you. One, compartmentalize. Schedule time on your calendar to work on the problem, then put it out of your mind until that time. Two, remove anything that will bring you back to the distraction, phone, email, whatever. Three, confirm to yourself there is nothing you can do about the problem right then. You'll get to it soon and then let it go. And finally, before starting work, take a 10 minute mindfulness break. Take a few deep breaths and visualize what you're going to accomplish at work. So here's your action item and mission should you decide to accept it. Got a problem that's interfering with your not being able to get the important stuff done? Try my four ideas and see if that helps. The first part of dealing with anything is acknowledging it exists. Acknowledge that you could be more productive and successful if your mind didn't keep wandering to the problems in your life. Denying you have problems only makes them worse. Dealing with them at the appropriate time acknowledges, simplifies, and focuses your mind so those problems will not make everything else worse. Please share this if you think others would benefit from not letting their problems on one thing be the problem for everything else that's important to them. Remember, one hand washes the other and together they get clean. Thank you for watching. Have a really rewarding week and I'll see you next time. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. With just a couple of clicks, you could be helping thousands of people. Thank you.